and no bad bounces at all. And when you think that it's really only had a warm up with uh, those two ladies or the four ladies that come up for the pre Wimbledon warm up, it, it looks in very good shape indeed. Very solid shot deep to the forehand. 15. Hingis hit so many shots down the line, and a lot of women don't really use it as much as she. 30, 50. That really robs you of time if you're on the other side of the net. How tough is it, Mary, for a youngster to come out here and play against the number one seed in the first round of this event? <laughs> that sounds kind of hard to me. <laughs> net. It's That's only it. Ann Kramer's fourth major in her young career, and she's never gotten past the second round before. Just deep, the automatic line caller not operating yet. 13. You can imagine Ann Kramer, she fights like mad to get through the qualifying last week at Roehampton, and then she gets the pleasure of drawing Martina Hingis in the first round. It's going to swing wide. Kramer had a lot more grass court practice last week than Hingis, though, who skipped the Eastbourne tune-up tournament and because of all the rain last week, only hit for half an hour on grass. It sounds a bit like a Andre Agassi type of preparation. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, as we were wandering around the grounds this morning, we saw Hingis out doing some very serious warm-up exercises with her coach her mother right there alongside all right and that's a way to take the overhead that's a little bit of a risky shot on a grass court if the ball bounces about a foot off the turf yeah, but I was asking Martina Navratilova about Ann Kramer as Martina knows her and she says Kramer's a good jock she's a good runner she's got good instinct so hopefully well, you know, she'll, yeah. she'll be ready to play this match and really give it a go. That's a heck of a shot. Danny's Kramer. And so Ann Kramer gets off to a good start on her own serve. Holds, it's one all. And you see this point. This is where Martina Hingis hesitated there. You thought she was going to come in on that forehand, elected to stay back, and then got wrong-footed with that very fine backhand from uh, Ann Kramer. I think the surgery on the knee is psychologically affecting her at this point at all, Mary? No, I really don't, Barry. I think she's recovered beautifully from it. I don't really think she considered it anything more than just, just sort of an annoying, you know. Routine operation. Couple of, huh? Yeah, it just, it, you know, it, it upset her schedule, obviously, a little bit. But I don't think it bothered 15. her psyche at all. And I think we were all surprised or shocked that when she lost the French Open final, but when you think of it, to come back from injury and get to the final like that actually was a good effort. Will go long. 15, 30. And even even Hingis herself, who who really doesn't suffer from false modesty, said, "I going into Paris, she said, I'm hoping to get to the semis." She didn't think she could pull off a, another Grand Slam win with so little practice on, on her knees. Second serve now, a little pressure early on the number one seed. 15, 30 down. Two-handed backhand passing 15, shot. 40. Great timing on that shot. And now double break point. No, Anne the Kramer. error. And Ann Kramer from Luxembourg draws first blood out here on court number one. Two, games to one. two games to one. She Best has six. the break. She has the lead. 
what you hope watching that kind of play from Hingis is that the misses she's made at the net, she's gotten past, she was a little hesitant getting to the net, she missed up there. You hope that it, it won't keep her off of the net now. But Kramer obviously is more than willing to go for big passing shots. Yeah, and I, and I thought I thought Hingis looked a little bit lazy on a couple of shots in this rally, particularly on this approach shot. When she comes in here, you'll see this rally develops straight down the middle of the court. And this one here, well, that was a good passing shot, but the point on break point which she missed when she had a backhand slice approach and she didn't really get down to the ball and it looked very hesitant. Almost looked a little casual. Very casual. Well, I think as Mary said that uh, she doesn't expect to lose this match in a million years and right <laughs> now she hasn't yeah. got her mind focused yet. How much do you think the Tell doubles her. that Hingis played and does play a lot really helps her game in singles? She's a good volleyer obviously when she has to. Oh, she's a terrific. I, she, listen, she's got she's got the whole package. She really has got the whole game. But she's not defending her Wimbledon doubles title this year with the woman she won it with, Helena Sukova. She's playing with Arantxa Sanchez Vicaria. Oh, she's doing so well so far in Kramer and she's really not intimidated there and that was good racket work. She's a lot more excited about this match right <laughs> yeah. now than her opponent. That's right. <laughs> Next, first serve. Two hundred seventeen spots in the rankings between these two. Whoa. They never met before. Hinkus is getting a very up close and personal look at Ann Kramer of Luxembourg right now. Yes. Hingis with the best shot she's hit thus far. Well, that's one of my favorite shots of Hingis is the backhand down the line. Net, Fesif. Didn't hear it. Automatic net court caller there. We didn't hear it up here, but not at Hingis either. The umpire calls a let. We'll have a first serve. Just long. Hingis didn't like the call. She gets a little testy at times. <laughs> Both facially, and I've seen her fire a racket every once in a while. Kramer got in trouble by hitting so short, and that's what gave Hingis a, an extra moment to really snap at that ball nice and early. And now it's a short reply of Hingis that gives Kramer the chance to wail. 14-30. So game point now for Ann Kramer to go up 3-1 with a break. Good. Wow, that's a okay, big miss. Kramer. So Ann Kramer holds. We have a match on our hands suddenly here Kramer on court number three one. one. Three games to one. 21 year old from Luxembourg giving the number one seat all she can handle here early in the first set. A good solid point here from Hingis. Approaches the net, a little bit casual on that volley, but it was an open court. Oh. 
30 left. Solid return from Kramer. It is a pleasure to watch a, a qualifier, you know, take herself so seriously in a match against Martina Hingis. So many players just come in and go through the emotions. Well, yeah, they, they, you, you can tell in their eyes that they just don't want to be there or whatever. Not not so Ann Kramer. And even more so when they, they get the dreaded uh, nerves of playing on a show court and she's just not been intimidated at all. 30. Please. Hey, Kramer likes the pace from back there. 14. The harder Hingis hits that ball, the better she likes it at this point. Finally holds serve. Three games to two in the first set. The 1990. This is only the third senior Wimbledon's event that Hingis has played. She won the juniors here. Lost in the first round to Steffi Groff two years ago. Then played Steffi Groff a couple of rounds later last year and lost. She was the 16th seed then. Now she's the first seed one year later. Uh, I remember progression. first match she played out on court 12. I'll never forget it. There was a big crowd out there. We're doing a match on court 13. And somebody said, who is that little shrimp over there knocking the heck out of the ball on 12? It was Hingis. No call. Service ace down the center. Hingis had a look at the mark. She goes up and checks it. They won't call the umpire out of the chair to check this one. Yeah. No marks on the grass, <laughs> but she was looking for one. Ooh, just missing. Catches the tape. Hingis a little unhappy now. Well, she should be. I mean, she's just not yet sharp. This is a point away from being 4-2 down. Big serve. Just over the baseline. Now Hingis with a chance to break and get even. Yes. Athea Kramer showing no fear at this point. I don't know how her Jeez. ranking is so low. She's a very good player. Well, she wins this match, her ranking will move <laughs> up a little bit. That's for sure. Oh. Well, it was long, the sidelines, when there you see him at the top of your picture trying to get that angle in on the sideline. He called it good.
It's good. Oh, that's a fine shot. Kramer's making Mingus look a little slow, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, how often do you see someone out hitting him from Kramer. the back? And right now, Ann Kramer has more velocity on the ground strokes than Martina Hingis. Uh, Hingis still just looking a little drowsy to me. Something was going to happen. Yes. There she goes. <laughs> Look at that reverse spin there. And Craig, oh, jeez. Oh, didn't quite read that spin on that ball. Advantage, Miss You heard the linesman call fault long on that second serve, and so Hingis now with another chance to get even here in this first set. Down 3 2, down a break. This is perhaps the biggest point of the set thus far. Just wide, the forehand spraying a bit now. Again, Barry, uh, Hingis caught that one off her hip, falling backwards. You know, usually, you just see her, her nose, everything about her going forward. Second double fault of this game. And here's where the more experienced players should come through, and that is surely the younger Hingis. Wait, please. It's just the first full year on the professional tour for Ann Kramer. She's been studying until now. Second serve now. Hingis inside the baseline. Putting a little pressure on the second serve. Oh, three game double is falls. And it works. And so Martina Hingis has broken back and even this match at three, three games game. all. Kramer really broke herself. Exactly. Well, we saw that big slice from Martina a little while ago. I want to know if Martina Navratilova showed her that overnight. Martina, did you show her that slice shot? Well, I've hit with her. Uh, <laughs> I hit with Ann Kramer a couple of years ago in Luxembourg, and uh, she's a very brainy player. And now is just now playing full time and uh, very eager. And uh, you know she's a jock and she knows how to play the game. I'm surprised she gave that game away. I don't think we'll see that again. She's match tough. She should do better than that. Love well, I think she's feeling the pressure, you know. She hasn't had any matches on grass, and uh, she doesn't look in the best of shape to me yet. I don't think she's had enough practice on it either, and she's just a little uh, nervous right now. Fifteen. I don't see those feet moving quite yet. Oh, that's, that's what I think. And that's nerves, you know, when you look sluggish, that's nerves more than anything. Martina, realistically, how long does it take to get used to grass court tennis after you've been on clay and other surfaces? Well, for me, it was like jumping back into the right temperature water, but uh, for baseliners, it went, may take a little while. Oh. I think 15, they, they've started the trend of just practicing a lot and not getting match play, and I think match play helps you more than on any surface. You've got to have match play on, on grass, and I think uh, at least three or four matches before they feel comfortable.
Yes. Hingis is staying just up the road, just very, uh, just a few blocks away from here. Thank and you. At the play, at the house where she's renting, uh, there's a a shale court, one of those hard courts with some kind of crazy shale on it. And that's what she's been hitting on. That's what she's been practicing wow. on? Yeah, in the rain, because she got so frustrated that she couldn't Out. practice on grass. 30, 40. And that sh really is not an approximation of grass at all, is it? Not even close to grass. The only th thing that's the same on those two courts are the dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> <laughs> Big moment for Kramer. Yes, and Hingis. Solid high forehand volley. Yes. Now, as we mentioned, one of the best doubles players in the women's game, and there was a good example of why. Good stretch volley. Mm. Advantage, Miss Kramer. And another error off that forehand side. Well, Hingis got herself in trouble, went way over to the side to get a little bit more angle on her first serve, but it opened up the court for Kramer. A terrific return and now another break point. It can be a risky play. She left a lot of court open. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Okay, and that ball climbs Give over the net. Ms. Kramer leads four games to three. First set. So Ann Kramer right back in at 4-3. They say it's a game of inches. Talk about many inches. That ball climbed up over the net and just died. So Martina Hingis struggling out here on the new court number one, initiating this court with the first ladies match of its history. And it'll be around a long time as we look at a few of the scores from around the grounds. But I'll tell you something, I think this youngster's given her all kinds of trouble and perhaps could win the first set. What's going through her mind, Mary? <laughs> uh, listen, she really, she, I, uh, I'm very, very happy to see this. Uh, as, again, way too often you, you see the players going up against the big seeds especially it happens in women's tennis I think where they just don't even give themselves Time. a shot that is not the case here at all and Hingis the, Hingis's quality of, of play has got to go up well, I think it was impressive that last game there where well, the game before where where Kramer served the three double faults to lose her serve and that was the chance for maybe her right. to start playing badly but then she goes and breaks back and plays another great game exactly that's a sign of a very good player New balls. New tennis balls as we start the eighth game of the first set. And Kramer playing some great tennis out here on this new number one court. Up a break, 4-3 against the number one seed. Love 15. Another double fault. John as a receiver trying to break back you win that first point on the other your opponents are, it gives you a real boost doesn't it that right. first point especially on grass I mean you just, you want that first point so badly way long Out. love 30 Couple of bad points to start the eighth game. Puts her down love 30. Ooh. 15 13. Angus thought for sure that was a fault. Ball jumped off the court. She's waiting for a call. And I've noticed today I have not heard an electronic call on the service line, and they've got 
live service lines people right there, and that's what we've been hearing so far. This is where you see this back end, and Hingis takes this ball so early, right on the rise there. Gives Kramer no chance to recover on that next ball. Oh! Ooh, Kramer thought she might have had one there out wide, just wide. Goes long, and so Hingis breaks right back. We've got a new ball game, four Full games, games all, first set. This is exactly why I think it's hard to pick who's going to win the women's event here at Wimbledon. So many, I mean, it, Steffi Groff is the only player who always holds serve, it seems, in women's tennis. Fifteen left. Lovely touch here from Hingis. Disguises that shot Ooh. by the time Kramer reacted. Good thing it was short because it was mighty high. Yep. 40 love. So Martina Hingis now quickly to 40 love. She has really struggled on her own serve. She'd love to win this point. Again from Ann Kramer. Love 15. Love 15. Hingis three points away from the first set. Yes. It's one of the better two handers she's hit in the set. Love 15. The backhand return was so big, Barry. And that's what forced that, that loose shot from Kramer to allow Hingis to go, to go for that beauty down the line. Oh. 15-30. She's used that slice serve out wide very effectively. And so Hingis sort of took a lunge at that boy. I think she could have made a couple of quick steps and been in better balance to hit that forehand. Oh. 
You can see the wind now becoming a factor out here. Another solid return as Hingis now starting to move in on those returns. So 1540. Double set point for the number one seed. And again, Hingis was a little slow to get to that shot. Yeah. She shouldn't have been it. I mean, it, it wasn't. It was a fairly neutral rally. She shouldn't have gotten herself that far off the court to try to have to lunge at that shot. Especially not on a set point. You should be gobbling up. The, uh, you should be gobbling up the ball. And here's another one for Hingis. Second serve, still set point. Pressure now on Kramer. No, game. the two-hander catches the net. Six games to four. And so after 38 minutes of play out here on court number one, Martina Hingis, the Second number set. one seed, wins the first set. That was Tate. Hingis leading. She's starting to look around as well. I think now, now she's really sort of, now that she's got that first set tucked away, I think she's starting to get used to the crowd a little bit, looking around a bit more. I, I watch her on the changeovers looking out on this brand new court. She should start feeling 30, pretty good. 50. There's one, there's one essential baseline who did end up coming to net more as he aged, and that's Jimmy Connors. I mean, that guy really, and that was a function of age. He said, I can't stay on the baseline forever. You know, I got to make the point shorter. And uh, it was beautiful uh, at 39 when he got himself to the semis of the U.S. Open. I just love the way he played. He, every, he, he, every time he saw any kind of opportunity to end a point, he did. And he realized through the years how many of those balls off those big two-handed shots of his were floaters that he could do that with. It makes life a lot easier when you come in and put those balls away. <laughs> 40-30. One game point slips away. Still 40-30 for the 21-year-old from Luxembourg, Ann Kramer, who has not just gone away out here against the number one seed. Game point to get to one all in the second set. shot here John yeah and Hingis did well to dig up that volley but look at the angle it's the best shot Kramer's hit in this match beautiful running cross-court forehand winner it's one all second set love 15. But you can see after she hit it, as you see the ball here, she's not prepared for the next ball coming back. 
She doesn't get down low enough and doesn't have her hands in front. At this stage, she can't possibly think Kramer isn't going to send the ball back. I, you know, she should know that she's up against a pretty good opponent and be looking for the next shot. Oh, that's a tremendous idea. Just the concept of doing that is pretty. 15, 13. Great variety. Took the pace off. A gentle roll cross court. Lovely to watch. Break point for Ann Kramer to go up 2 1 here in the second. Thank you. Some very half hearted clapping from this crowd. Going for it all on a big point. Well, Kramer should do that. Uh, the most attackable part of Hingis's game is her second serve. And that's that's just about the easiest shot you're gonna hit, get from her. Oh, beautiful. Great step. Deuce. So from 1540 down, the number one seed now at Deuce. Advantage, Miss Hingis. Second set. In 1994, just after having won her second 76 days old, an easy winner in the final that year, that was her first taste of victory here on the grass courts at Wimbledon. Of course, she wants to add to that credential with a ladies' championship in this year's Wimbledon singles. Well, you're so right, Jim. She is no stranger to Wimbledon. She is very comfortable around these grounds, having been here for so many years, and yet she's a tender 16 years old, Mary. It's amazing. It's her fifth Wimbledon. <laughs> it's scary. That could be a record, I think. Time. Martina Ingus, the number one seed. She's got a few of the goodies going for her. I like that, just to have your name there, just in case uh, people don't know who she is. <laughs> she, she, she puts her name on her uh, jacket. The new number one court, seeing its first ladies' match in its history. A history-making occasion yesterday, as some of the greats were out there, including our own Billie Jean King and Martina Navratilova. I thought a very appropriate ceremony to open up this great facility. Even McEnroe showed up. About Kramer, pace does not seem to bother her at all. In fact, she eats it up. Player. 
15 all. A tremendous down the line forehand sets up for a tremendous down the line Ooh. backhand volley. Just knifed it. Mary, looking at that last shot, Martina Navratilova has often said there aren't that many female jocks. I think Hinga's showing some jocular power on that last <laughs> little backhand volley. <laughs> like the way she moved on that ball. Second serve. Let me see this approach shot from Hingis. Good anticipation there from Hingis. Kramer, good effort. Didn't quite make it though. Deuce. Wow, Hingis missing with the two hander, bounces the racket down. Find many racket abuse. Calls on the women's game, Mary, not too many these days. Not too many, but they get called, I mean, quickly. Oh. Advantage, Mr. Kramer. Less leniency over on uh, this side of the game. Uh, right? That's right. That's yeah. right. I think I think there are there are far fewer players who really uh really, you know, goof up on the court. I mean the women compared with the guys. Yes. It's a difficult one to time, but it's a key moment for Martina Hingis now, a chance to go up, a set and a break, a very, very high defensive lob that Hingis tossed up there. It's difficult to time, and it was misjudged by Kramer. Yes. And I think on a grass tennis court, when you get a high lob, it's very risky to let that ball hit the turf. It's always a little safer to take it in the air. Well, she did, and it backfired on her. That's just right, Barry. If you let if you let a lob like that bounce on the grass, you might not get any bounce at all. Advantage, Miss Hingis. So now Hingis with yet another opportunity to go to 3-1 here. This becoming a very crucial game. She gets out of it again. A good serve. But that's unusual. In this game, Hingis has had three break points and has missed three returns of serve. You don't see that happen too often.
Davis has got to be a little bit surprised that a qualifier ranked 218 in the world can be going toe to toe with her in these hard hitting rallies. <laughs> Kramer getting a huge hand from this packed house over here on that last shot. Jeez. Almost looked like she got one of the first bad bounces on court number one as it skipped off the surface there, stayed awfully low. We'll be getting a lot more of those as the uh, yep. two weeks progress. I loved even Isovich yesterday. He's talking about week one and week two. He says the first week we play on grass. The second week, the ball <laughs> slows down on the dirt a little. <laughs> Again, that two-hander lets her down. That's really something. That's eight breakpoint chances that Hingis has had. She's only converted three, which is low for her. Billie Jean King was saying that in set two, Hingis should really concentrate on her return game, get more alert. And I think she's missing some chances here. Best rally of the match is Kramer looking for some air on that baseline. And now a big chance for Hingis. happening with Hingis more than anything is that because she's not moving real quickly really quick off the dime she's not she's not keeping her length on her shots as well as she normally does and that's what's giving this young qualifier a swing at these balls oh. look at that a defensive slice backhand that floats on her she doesn't play that shot very often, does she? That slice back in. So now Kramer with a chance to get even here at two games all. Longest game of the match right here. Next, first serve. Let first serve. Tina Hingis came over to get her racket, and Ann Kramer looked at her, and then she looked back up at the scoreboard as if to say, are we supposed to be changing now? It's only two games all. Kind of a hushed crowd here. I think they're a little surprised by how well this youngster has done. So am I. Hingis has changed rackets. I would guess she would go for a, perhaps a slightly tighter tension. More pace. Love oh, 15. Uh, look at that. And with that new frame, opens things up with a double fault. John, do you like changing rackets in the middle of a match? No, I don't like changing rackets at all. I was always very suspicious about that, uh, very superstitious about that, should I say. Ooh. 
15 all. Right Sun now out here on court number one. We probably shouldn't mention it too much with some <laughs> threatening weather all around the All England Club. Oh! Oh, that's yes. pretty. There is the pace we just 30, spoke 50. about. Maybe that racket is helping her off that forehand side. Oh. 40, 15. So Hing is putting together some of her best points here. 40 15, trying to get to 3 2. Net for serve. Game is Hingis. That will go long, and so Martina Hingis holds. She now leads three games to two out here on the new number one two, court. She has set, the first one, set. To love. Barry, coming up July 18. <laughs> Lisa Raymond, maybe this her best surface, don't you think, Mary? I think it should be. Yeah. Because she's just naturally aggressive. And again, Brenda Schultz McCarthy grass is where she should shine. Love 15 now. Hinga starting to. Get the feel of this brand new court. No Love call it. right on the baseline. I, I think what has kept this match so close is, is Barry, pretty much what, what, you, what you're saying there. And this is the first match on grass that Martina Hingis has played in a year. This is the fourth match on grass that her opponent has played in a week. <laughs> she is more comfortable on this stuff right now than the no, world's number one. Something to be said for a qualifier. Quickly, three points for Hingas. Triple break point to go to a 4-2 lead. She has the first set, 6-4. Martina Hingis now leading four games, four games to two. two. In the second set, she has the first 6-4. Martina, <laughs> Martina, we love you somewhere in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a very romantic people, John. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Double fault number four for Hingis. <laughs> the call of love shook her up, John. Yeah. <laughs>
great. Yeah, and Kramer has played some superb rallies this match. He's unfortunately just played a couple of sloppy points on Lovely. big games. But here we see this rally. Look at that improvisation there. Just shorten that backswing. And Martina Hingis didn't read that at all. So now big chances. Triple break point for Kramer. Oh. <laughs> It didn't look like she was going to make it to that volley. <laughs> you can see this serve. Wow. Come, decides to come in, little, leaves it a little bit late. Looks like she was going to drop it and then managed to get the drop volley. She's out of position that now, too. Game is Kramer. And Ann Kramer. A very solid game. She breaks right back, and we got another match on our hands here 4-3 three Ingus very similar to the center as the players change over a little extra running room both on the side and behind the court and John you play on a big show court like this with extra running room does it do anything to your dimensional look out there I find it I used to find that tough for the depth perception when the court was this big I know some players loved it I, I, I prefer the more intimate surroundings Kramer now, 15 love, trying to get even here at four games all. She lost the first set, 6-4, had some chances in that first set early. Center service lines woman there okay. with the long frock calling that ball wide. Kramer slipped, tried to change directions. John just couldn't push off quickly enough. Thank you. Well, that's the first time we've seen this is in this match. Her foot, footwork has been excellent. And there she just slips. It's got no chance to get back into position. She knew she got away with something there. Well, you can also see here, there's a good drop shot, but not quite good enough. And you see Hingis just have enough, has, have, has enough height just to get it inside the line. Up. Deuce. Advantage, Miss Crane. Thank you. 
sun has gone behind clouds and suddenly again the wind swirling out here on court number one. That's a terrific return to serve from Hingis. The off backhand that she caught early really just totally surprised Kramer. Oh! No, she yeah, pulls yeah, it yeah. wide, tries to do a little too much. So now Martina Hingis will serve for the match, leading 5-3. Next, Fessa. Oh, yes. It's good. Tremendous lob from Hingis. And Hingis, Mary, I think, showing what a great scrambler she is on this grass 15. surface. I think she's played a little bit better in the second set from the first. And again, I just don't think she ever doubted in her own mind that she was going to lose this match. I mean, for, for all of the problems and frustrations she, she may have felt during this match, she, I don't think she's ever really lost her poise. Fifteen. And Kramer again with that big forehand. Yes, nice touch. 13, 15. Oh, called wide. Hingis has another look over at that center, center service lines call. Wasn't real happy with it. Ingus still two points away. It's long. 30, 40. Good forehand for Kramer there, and way outside of the court there, Hingis. It managed oh. just to hook it around the outside of the ball and bend it down the line. That is the best forehand of the Wimbledon fortnight to date. Yes. Oh. What a shot on the full run. And now Hingis looks over, didn't like the service call, thought she had an ace out wide. Oh. 
penalty to Miss Kramer. It was Fiona Edwards in the chair on that last close call. She has never overruled once in her career. Of both these girls to get to balls it's incredible they've run Jeez. they've run a few miles both of them today in this match uh, hingis is taking her time in between in between yeah. service points here finish her off someone just told her <laughs> oh, man. finish her off it's Charming. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Tina Hingis finally has arrived at match point. Next, first up. First serve was a let. Hingis walked through her serve, just Jeez. assuming that after a good first serve like that, the return was going to be out, but it, it just hung right on that line. Just don't think Hingis thought she would have to bring so much game yeah. to the first round of Wimbledon 97. It's good. No. Advantage, Miss Kramer. But in many ways, a match like this, if Hingis wins it, a perfect start. Little test, little competitiveness. And now break point for Ann Kramer. Miss hit. And I tell you something, that ball was a wobbler. Jeez. That could have been trouble on the short overhead, but he can just put it away quickly. Again, match point. I'll be surprised if Hingis serve volleys again on this one. to do to get rid of <laughs> Ann Kramer. She won't go away. Fifth deuce. Again, Hingis was forced to lose length on her shots. And that's what gave Kramer the opportunity to attack and to have herself a great point. And the second serve now. Kramer, three for eight on break point chances. And 
So Ann Kramer, the 21-year-old from five games Luxembourg, to four, second set by one set to love. Treating this packed house out here on court number one, 11,000 strong. Let's have a look now at our overall analysis, Mary, of this match. Uh, Hingis is getting hurt again. She's having trouble with her serve. She's been broken four times. And although she's had 10 chances to break Kramer, she's she's broken five, which is good. But five for 10 for Hingis is not good. She's made more unforced errors than Kramer. She's made more winners. But uh, that's why this match is so close. Those numbers are not terribly impressive for Martina Hingis. Would you say 35 unforced errors, Mary, in two sets is, is a, a lot more than she usually has? Yeah, I, I don't, most people don't play her this close. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, they just don't. I mean, she's really being extended. And again, I think she Time. looks slow. She even looks a little pasty to me. I don't think she's, yeah. uh, you know, Martina said she might not look in the great shape. I kind of agree with that. In fact, she's been asked a lot of questions in the last several weeks. When she came back to the French Open, the journalist, uh, again, part of it was what she was wearing. She's wearing some new clothes. And, you know, people were saying, have you gained a lot of weight? And she says, hey, look, I'm, I'm just, that's just part of being a teenager. You know, I, maybe I put on a little bit of weight. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't, you don't normally see this kind of, this kind of play from Hingis. But all due credit to uh, Ann Kramer. My favorite Kramer since Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo. Best, my favorite since Jack. <laughs> Love 15. Kramer goes right over, starts with a double fault. Uh, that's a pity. That is her sixth double fault. And if there's one thing that might keep her up tonight, if she thinks about some missed opportunities in a loss here, it would be that some very untimely double faults when, when the going got tough. 15. Hingis forehand slides wide, and Martina Hingis now having a very strong look at that sidelines. Woman over there on the far side. Again, Miss Edwards in the chair, not about to overrule, break her record. Yes. retrieving there from Hingis. Looked like she was out of that point and then hooks that 15, lob over. 30. Kramer's head manages to get that forehand, finishes the rally. You said it, John. This is the best quality tennis we've seen in a long time in this match. I mean, it's gotten better and better towards the end of this second set. are watching this with interest as we look at this forehand but this youngster from Luxembourg I think a very talented young player very talented uh, of course Martina said earlier she hit against her and she's such a good athlete of course we see double match point right here but Ann Kramer had given Martina Hingis a run for her money and a great preparation match for yes. Hingis very good for Hingis this is exactly the kind of match that Hingis wants <laughs> it's taken her uh, quite a bit of work to get into the second round. She loves that little angle off the forehand, has used it well, and Ann Kramer refuses to go away. Another match point. Second serve. Yeah. Yes. I, I think she's not taking quite enough short steps to the ball, and and she's kind of dragging that shot. Yeah, she looks like she's a, you know just in a, almost a lunge position too too often.
advantage, Miss Hingis. Well, if she has put on a couple pounds, she got them all into that last two-hander, I'll tell you, down the line. <laughs> she they were that all ball. there. And now, once again, match point for Martina Hingis. No. That's a bad bounce. Bad bounce. That really was. That, that's bad luck for Hingis. One of the few bad bounces we have seen on this brand new court. That ball stayed low. Advantage, Miss Hingis. Match point once again for Hingis. First round victory for Martina Hingis in the second round, when and if it takes place, she'll be playing Olga Barabanshikova of Belarus. And after the match, she spoke to our Zena Garrison in the interview room. Martina, what have you been doing between the French and Wombam? Well, I went back to Switzerland, and then later on, on Thursday, we went to Czech Republic, and I've been riding my other horse like two hours a day, and between also a little bit tennis. So that was my preparation to come here and play at Wimbledon. Oh, that's good. You're still riding the horses, then? Yes, of course. <laughs> you just feel free, you know. Nothing happened to your knee anymore. I didn't fall, but anyway, again. <laughs> and you just know that you're able to do it again, so that's a great feeling. And I mean, I'm not injured again. I, I just came in this tournament and I, and I won my first match, so it's already a good start. That's good. So what do you think you're going to have to do to win this tournament? Well, I think I have to improve my serve a little bit. It has to be like over my standard <laughs> because it helps you a lot if you just get three points from your serve. And my baseline game was already pretty good today, I would say. but. You have to take your chances and step in a little bit more as you did it <laughs> in 1990. And I mean, I just try because I won the doubles last year when here, and I feel pretty good on the net. But you just kind of try to step in a little bit more and have to be more aggressive. With um, Steffi out now, do you think that's going to help your chances, or how does it put any more pressure on you, or anything like that? Well, there's no pressure on me at, at all because I would say there are so many other players around I made the finals twice last in the year before Novotna made the finals Martina she won it when Steffi wasn't playing I think the pressure is not only on me I'm still the number one but it happened the same to me in at the French Open or the other tournaments and I just feel free I mean I just want to play my best tennis that's it last year you were seated 16 this year you're seated number one <laughs> Wow, what a That's difference a year has made. Is. <laughs> How has your life changed? Well, I've just been playing a little bit better than last year. <laughs> I'd say I made much better results. I've been starting to win a couple of tournaments, especially I would say since the U.S. Open, I never, never made worse than semifinals, so that's not bad. That's not bad <laughs> but, at all. <laughs> and I just felt like almost I can lose to anybody, but you know, it always may happen something to you, or like my accident on the horse. I just couldn't play for a couple of weeks, but I came back and I played a great match in Paris also. So. What are you doing here to relax? Well, I made also, well, I'm going to play all three events, so I don't have that much time <laughs> to relax, hopefully. But on Sunday, if there will be a day off, so I'm going to try to go horseback riding. I went there every year, so we'll see. But we just go shopping as in every big city. Is this your first time playing all three events? No, last year I played also, but 
you know, if you're going to play stuff your first round, as I did <laughs> three years ago or last year also. So just don't feel very happy about the drop. Uh, it was a little unlucky, but I only lost to Steffi, so I have nothing against Wimbledon, nothing against grass. I feel very confident here at this tournament. Well, I wish you a lot of luck, and I hope you do yeah. extremely well. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Thanks. Email to Martina.